Hi, my name is Jesus Suarez and I'm an applications engineer at Focos. One common question that we get in regards to our pure sine wave hybrid inverters is why isn't my battery charging? There's multiple things that one could explore to figure this out. The first things that, I, that we recommend you check for are the obvious. So the first is to make sure that your PV voltage on the DC side is actually 90 volts DC. Under 90 volts DC, your inverter will not charge the battery, considering that you don't have an AC source connected to the inverter, of course. Um, if it's a standalone PV battery system, you want to make sure that your PV voltage is at least 90 volts DC, otherwise you will not see any charging to your battery bank. Um, another common issue uh, with the battery not charging uh, would be that your loads are larger or close to what the PV voltage is at uh, in terms of um, uh, and, and, and the difference between that is not enough to charge your battery bank. So you fall into a situation where all your, your PV is going to your loads versus anything left to actually charge your battery. Um, so it's worth doing a, a strong analysis in terms of your PV resource and the loads that you plan to power and also making sure that you have some PV to charge your battery during op the optimal time periods of the day. Um, another thing that's worth checking for is if uh, you're, you fall into a situation where your battery bank reaches its low voltage disconnect and it's a lithium battery bank. Uh, lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate banks have a BMS uh, system integrated into them most of the time. When they reach their low voltage disconnect that a switch opens up which in turn causes the inverter to not see a battery on the battery side. Um, it sees zero voltage, um, commonly requiring you to go out and use an external DC power supply to re-engage the switch on the battery if there's no reset, re reset switch included with the battery bank. Um, oftentimes, if the battery reaches the low voltage disconnect, the inverter is going to display a, a code on the display BP, and this indicates that it's, the, the inverter is not seeing any battery bank on the, the battery side. It's important to check the voltage on the battery side with a multimeter. Another common situation that you may find yourself in uh, in which where the battery bank is not charging is if you set your menu 16 out of the out of the box your inverter is set to charge the battery using a grid source and solar uh, you'll see this in the manual as solar and utility snu um, you, you, it, it's worth considering that the solar that's available will be prioritized to power your loads but if you're in a situation where you're solar is, is just enough to power your loads, there won't be any solar left to go to charge your battery. Um, another strong consideration is the inverter can only charge a battery using solar and a grid source when there is no AC output load present. If there is a load present, it will only use solar or your, your grid source uh, depending on what your priority settings are in menu one. To recap, these are the line items to which why your battery may not be charging. 